What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, and I'm back with another video. And you girl decided to do something different today. So I was sitting here, and I've been going. First off, excuse my background. You know, your girl's a whole college student, so all my stuff from school got to be here somewhere. So yeah, excuse all this stuff right there. But your girl was sitting here, and I was like, dang, I want some sick food. Let me put my order in. So I did, and I just went pick it up. So I'm gonna be doing just. A mukbang, I guess. And talking. I'm probably gonna be doing more eating than talking to this. Y'all, this smells so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Try to get the thumbnail now. Something. I just something out of this. Y'all, I wish I could smell this. But I went to a place down here called Fiery Crab. I ain't ate here in a long time because I've been eating crawfish from Honey Bee Ham and stuff. Mm -mm. Get all that juicy stuff there. I guess I'm gonna just talk about, and if y'all hear noise, that's the air conditioning air. I got a fan on because it could be hot. But yeah, I'm gonna be talking. What I'm talking about? Mm. I'm gonna talk about why. I'm gonna talk about why I wanted to start a last business. First off, I don't even have a reason why. The girl was just like, I think I'd be really good at this. I just had it all planned out in my head. How it was gonna go, you know, I was gonna order lashes, and I was gonna be selling lashes like, like that. But that's not what happened. So when it didn't happen, like how, I, when I didn't sell, like how, first off, the name of my last business is Original Only. And it's called, it's a unique name, name because the beginning is not spelled like original beginning is spelled a apostrophe r e like my name my name is ariana so it's spelled a apostrophe capital a apostrophe capital r capital e then it's g-i-n-a g-i-n-a-l-d capital o-l and y only i said o-l o-n-l-y you girl is tripping this is but yeah, so I did all my research. I used to be, now when I did this, this I researched when I, while I was back in school. So I used to do work study while I was in school, so I needed to get paid a little money, though, money in my pocket. So I um I used to be at work because I used to work. I work as an office assistant. I've been working there about two years now. So, I used to be at work when they had nothing for me to do. Researching and all kind of stuff, you know. Finding out what all type of lashes they had. I didn't even know that there were different type of lashes. Like, I just thought it was just strip lashes. Like, I know they had strips in the region and all that, but like, mink and it's a whole bunch of other like textures I guess you could say or whatever so after reading up on all the kind of lashes they have or whatever I wanted, I decided I wanted to do mink 
so I started doing research on vendors and all this, and just so so happened, I found two. So I messaged both of them. I was like, tell them that I'm starting a business, you know, how many lash, lashes I want to purchase and all this. And one of the companies didn't even message me back. Like, I sent my inquiry. I think I'm saying it right. And they didn't even mention me back. Like, they didn't say nothing. But the other company I messaged did. And we discussed prices and how much and all this and all that. And they sent me samples so I could test out the lashes that I picked out that I wanted to sell to see if I liked them before I purchased a whole bunch of them. So the samples came in. And I'm like, I love garlic. I'm just sitting there eating But the samples came in and I love them. They was bomb. So I put my my big order in. I just feel like I was so lucky to just talk to one vendor and got a, a great deal and stuff like that because a lot of people got to go through different vendors and all this and i was just so lucky that i stumbled upon the right vendor so i put my big order in or whatever they came in i made my own labels i got the stuff i need like the label that you the late the actual label that you print your logo on i got all that from walmart I use my grandmother's computer on her printer. Um, I had my own printer, but I feel like by knowing so I was like, let me just ask my grandmother, can I use hers? She helps me here, so I use hers or whatever. I package them, I put the names on it, and all that. And I was selling at first, I was selling. And then it kind of like died down, and I'm like, dang, what am I gonna do with all these lashes? Like, they're not selling, like, I, I kind of got started getting discouraged. because it wasn't going as planned. So, I didn't give up, I kept going or whatever. And then eventually, I sold out. So I put another art in. And then it was time for me to go to school. Oh my God, that right there, leaving from my hometown, which is late Charles, and going back to school and grandma. That was so crazy because like, it's like at a, one point in time, I wasn't sending no, no lashes at all. Like I just had lashes like, then when you go back to school, it's a lot of other girls on campus that sell lashes. So it's like, who do you buy from? And I just started and don't nobody really know me like that. Like I know people and then I was online and all of this and I, I just didn't have time. So I didn't give up. It just my business slowed down. I still sell lashes like here and there, but it slowed down. And then um, I put another order in once this after I sold out of most of those, like almost all of them, I put it in. And it's not supposed to be in school. So right now, this has been about a good year, maybe a year that I was selling lashes. Maybe a year. Yeah, a year that I've been selling lashes. So um, school was out over there. We had to leave, pack up all that stuff, you know, go home because the whole pandemic, pandemic or whatever. And... I put another order in and then I was thinking, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm doing good with the lashes. Let me add some more stuff to my business. So a couple of months ago, I was thinking that. So last month, I did. I added, I added big frame sunglasses that I see a lot of girl wear, girls wear now. That's the style. And I added ankle bracelets. So, I got that. They came in. Then I had a problem with it. I became lucky again. The vendor that I found. Well, then. Let me just wipe this off. Because it's too damn beautiful. It's okay. My, I, the thing I just with my hair. <laughs> but yeah, I found vendors like that again with the sunglasses. With the sunglasses, I emailed like four different vendors with they was all had different styles of shades or whatever. 
So, I, um, I sent my inquiry to them. Um, they they all messaged me back, but some of them like they they was their glasses was just too high for the, the price that they wanted. And then on top of that, let me tell y'all something. When y'all starting a business trying to sell something, when you purchase something, the cost or the product not gonna be that much it's the shipping that's so high which they call it fright but it's still shipping it's like say like you order something and they tell you how much the whatever you order in the piece is then you added it you calculate all that and how many you want so you put that together so you get your price and then you know they gonna charge you. So you ask them how much. I mean, then they you tell them the price or whatever. Which is what you order and the however many you purchasing. So say like you purchasing fifty shades and they come out to about like they like a dollar something a piece and they come up to like seventy something dollars. No lie. $30-something. Your shipping will be about 60 So, yeah, when you buy something, your shipping from vendors, your shipping is what make the price go, like, really up. So yeah, shipping is what make make it expensive. But hey, if you got it, you got it. If you can't get all that at one time, maybe you need to lower how many you try to get. But always remember, when you start a business, don't go crazy and buy a whole bunch of stuff. Like when I first started, I only bought 50 badges. Cause I, at first I was like, okay, dang, I need a bunch. But then I realized, what if nobody buy all day? Then I'm just have all these lashes. Just here. Just sitting there. So. When you start your business, start off small. With your products. Whatever you buy, buy a small amount. Because you don't know what people are going to like. If they're going to want to buy it or if it's going to sell. Like, when I first started off, I, well, I still have, I started off with five different styles of lashes. And the lashes I sell now, I still have five different styles, but it's not all the same lashes that I bought because some of the lashes that I picked didn't sell. So I had to pick something else that I think that would sell. So, so far, my business is doing great. I mean, it's not like how I want it to be, but it's better than how it was like when I had to leave to go back to school. Like, that was just... I mean, I was selling, like I said, I was selling lashes at school, but it was so many girls on campus selling lashes, so it's like, I didn't have that much business. Like I did when I was back home. So, yeah. If you ever, like I had been thinking about starting my own business for years. I was just too scared to do it. And then I just found it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just take a leap out on faith and I'm going to do it. So I did. But let me tell you something. If y'all ever thinking about doing something, do it so you don't have no regrets saying I should have did this or what if I would do this I think I would do this do it if it don't work out for you it don't work out try something else. you know how many things there is that you can learn other ways to do in the world I be having to tell myself that because I know how to do a lot of stuff but a lot of stuff that I know how to do that I used to do a lot back then that I didn't sell i just did it for myself like i paint i make birthday pins i paint letters i make mirrors like all of that for a long time i was just decorating that for myself like to do in my room and people was asking me you know do you sell this i'm like nah i just did it for myself like when it come to painting i used to love painting but now i just feel like i don't have the patience for it anymore. like I, I don't really like doing it anymore i mean i still do it if somebody asks me but 
It's just because I don't like telling people no, but I just still do it. I do it here and there, but I really don't like it. But hey, it put money in my pocket. I mean, there's another reason why I stopped hanging because people expect you to sell stuff that you didn't take your time and made for a cheap price. You know how long it took me to paint this, girl? Or whoever? So, like, I make a canvas painting. Like, these right here, this whole stack right here, is canvas painting I made. Over the years, I just hung up on my wall. Like, I never sold them. So, now I want to sell them. And I'm selling them for, like, $50. Because they, they not that big. But they not small either. And it took me a long time to do that. I got to buy the stuff. To make all that stuff. So, I'm selling canvases right now. That I paying for $50. And one thing that gets under my skin is when people ask you to make something. You didn't start it. And then, you tell them the price. They don't want them all. You should have asked. That should have been the first question you asked. But I'm definitely not going to sell no painting for no twenty dollars. You know how long it took me to make this? I had to buy all the stuff to do it. You know. And I just been over this little break, selling house quarantine. I just been learning how to do more and more stuff, and people keep asking me. Do you do? I can really just be learning stuff. When I want something. Like, if I see something on the internet that is so cute, I may ask where they get it from. You know, some people be stingy. They don't want to tell you where they got it from. Why you see something, you don't want to pay that price for it. I learned how to make it myself. You know, you can learn so much stuff. Like, people be asking people to, to be paying high dollars for stuff. When <laughs> YouTube. You can learn so much stuff on YouTube. I used to pay to get my makeup done to go, like, prom myself in high school. <laughs> I don't want to talk about how to do makeup, do my own makeup. If I want something that bad, if I feel like it's too expensive, I just don't want to pay for it. Trust me, I'm gonna figure out how to make it. If I really want it, I'm gonna figure out how to make it. Just like I started making birthday pins, I started pimps like birthday pins was trending them big birthday pins with ribbon and all that. I want one for my birthday. I made it myself. I wanted to. Custom made birthday set after my 18th birthday. I made it myself. Use my grandmother's sewing machine. I just bought my own sewing machine. I'm about to start making my own clothes. Like, come on. You can learn so much stuff. But I also get that some people just don't want to take the time to learn. They just rather pay somebody or just to support somebody's business. Like, I'm all for supporting business businesses. Like, that's what's up. But at some point in time, you gotta be like, like, Okay, it's cool to support, but I'm sitting here spending all this money. And I could be saving and paying less if I figure out how to make it on my own. You can even start selling it once you know how to make it. So, if there is something that you want to do, and you've been sitting and thinking about it for the longest, and you don't really have nobody to tell you the exact words you need to hear for you to go do it, I'm telling you now, do it. It's where I think, do it. You got the money for it, do it. Do it, whatever. You can do anything you set your mind to. All you gotta do is give it your all. Give it your all. If there's something you really wanna do, give it your all. Movies, uh, not that I can do. I'll be watching all kinds of stuff. Like, there's no movie that came on Netflix that Fatal Attraction, I think it's called. I was supposed to watch it last night with my mom, but I was paying something. She didn't want to wait, so I just started watching without me. But I'm going to watch it later. Probably after I'm done eating.
Yeah, let me tell you something. I seen this so I seen this post where I think it was on Twitter. It was a girl. She tweeted a picture of some crap live. And she and I quote asked. Do y'all eat the cluster or do y'all just eat the legs? When I tell y'all, I tweeted, retweeted, and made a comment so fast, like, I know you're not about to sit here and eat just the legs and waste all this meat that's in, this cl in that cluster. You better eat that. You sitting up here wasting meat. Baby, I would get every into me. Like, I love. I'm just so convinced that seafood has crack in it. Because you know what? I'm addicted. I had crab legs and shrimp two nights ago. And look at me again. But the other night, my mom, my mom made them. I just bought these from the place called Fiery Crab. I ain't ate here in so long, but it's so good. Oh my god, I love garlic. But yeah. Y'all, if I could just. <laughs> Don't tip me, because I will. I will drink this stuff. There's a different variety of sauce you can pick from. And I pick. I think the fiery crab sauce is when all the sauces that they have available is mixed together. Oh my god, this guy. I love it. So I got all the sauces mixed together, which is like Cajun, lemon pepper, Louisiana, and some other type of. Some other type of season, but it's all of me together, and I got you can get spicy or mild. I like spicy, of course. to the last minute. Well, again, I'll take that back because I'm so ready to go. Oh, my God. My grandmother was like, I don't think it's a good idea for you to go back to school. Who? Oh. She's like, I just think you should stay home. You'll probably go down and catch coronavirus. First off, I'm going. I can stay home and still catch coronavirus. I'm going back to school, baby. Mm-mm. I got to go because we got a choice to either do online and stay home or go back to school and do hybrid like we still gonna have hybrid is like when you have online classes but you also meet face to face too but it's mostly gonna be online but I gotta go <clears throat> I got to go baby you can't stay here I'm so ready to leave home oh my god I'm so ready My sister, my little sister, because I'm the oldest, all my siblings. But my little sister, like, all this sauce and garlic and butter will mess her stomach up. It don't happen to me.
garlic is so good. That's how I look at me. Cause like, why is she looking at Shia? First off, the garlic and the sauce is on it. It's so good. I'm not wasting none of it. I just ate like a whole clove of garlic. Oh god. <clears throat> that was a little too much garlic. Just buy a pack of corn and ball it. And just eat corn. Ooh, a ball corn is some breakfast eggs. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, but it has some strong 
Can I help you? I'm recording. You like the potato? Yep. Okay. What? Okay. A potato? Yeah. I I actually had another. Yeah, I got one left. Okay. Well, I never know if I'm gonna just give me a book. Wipe it out first, I'm just gonna give you a book. Boy, I don't do something else. Yeah, juice only. Well, that's a mukbang. Go ahead, Ken. It's my little brother. Even though he's taller than me, he's like 6'3. He only 17. Like I'm blowing like I usually do. <laughs> People be looking at me crazy when I be blowing on the on the shell, but that's how I get all the meat out when it be stuck. Ooh, I don't know. My nose is leaking. Oh, I got garlic over on my hair. Oh well. No nut cracking when you got strong teeth. Yeah, I, I'm still baffled at that post that they did. Like, girl, if you don't get all that meat out of here, Sorry, y'all. I probably look a mess eating this, but it's too good. Honestly, when I uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but I got my tongue pierced. I don't know if you can see that. It's two balls right here. It's gonna sit with that one black. 
they call it snake eyes, some people call it frog eyes, but when I got that, I thought it was gonna be so hard. I didn't want to add the tip because I read a lot of people say it messes up their speech when they talk. Probably make them stutter or something like that. So I didn't get at the tip. So but when I got it, I thought it was gonna be so hard for me to eat stuff. But at first, I kind of would bite it sometimes. Uh, when I first got it, where I went, I think we went to the movies. I was eating popcorn, and my ball came on screw. I'm like, well, dang. He ain't tied tight enough? I mean, he ain't screwed tight enough? So I had to get on the floor. Then it was dark. They found it. I ain't gonna lie, I almost started crying. I'm like, dang, I just got this and I can't even find the ball. And it's gonna close, not knowing my dumb self. You still got the ring and then you just lost the ball, duck. But I turned my flashlight on my phone, I ended up finding it. So I ran to the bathroom or whatever to wash it off and screw it back on. Cause I was Oh, yeah. And then I went to the bathroom, I took it back on, but I went back to the movie. And then I don't think it ever came off again. And it's all unscrewed and took it off. But other than that, I be eating regular. I might bite it sometimes, like if my curve um bell is on all the way to one side, I bite it. It's kinda like I'm trying to crunch on some hard candy. My legs go to sleep. I need to open them. Wait, I just go this closer. But, yeah. Other than that, I'll be cool. I'll just be eating regular. Be eating all kinds of stuff. Brush my teeth regular. Like, sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling like, dang. Be Sometimes I be forgetting that uh, it's even in my mouth unless I physically touch the top of my tongue, the top of my mouth with it. I guess because I didn't have it for so long now. I got it, I think, after my 21st birthday. So a year. I've been having it for a year and some months now. I tried with one of my line sisters that's in Shreveport. Oh, oh my god, we had lobster, shrimp. I think it had eggs in there. I don't like eggs, so I didn't eat that. And sausages and potatoes. And I think it had a corn. Oh my god. And we went on a Wednesday night because they have a special on Wednesday night. You get all that but cheap price. <laughs> when I tell you I was so good, when we go back to school, I'm about to convince <laughs> my friends, look, we need to go here. They probably going to be down to go anyway because the, they are all like seafood just like me. Uh, and they don't want to go. That's cool. I'll go by myself. But I'm pretty sure. There go, cause they seafood freaks just like me. I can't believe I even gave my brother that potato because when it comes to seafood, I am stingy. I will not share. Or it be something particularly that I really want. But I didn't eat like second, ate like two or maybe three potatoes, so you can have it. That's the only thing. Like my brother eats seafood, but he would like, just eat the potatoes out the seafood boy then it's actual seafood. Mm. He'll touch some potatoes up, man. Some ball potatoes. 
twice by accident in my sleep.
know I look crazy eating this stuff, but I don't even care because this stuff is just good. I got one more leg after this and I'm done. I'm just looking at myself on the camera making these dumb faces. So how y'all been doing? <laughs> I've been doing all this stuff and never asked how y'all was doing. Just having up to, you know. I was like quarantining. Are y'all quarantined? Or are y'all just living y'all big life? Last piece, y'all. y'all like share comment and subscribe and thumbs up and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i post a video all right y'all and i'm out Lover.